I think sh I should probably write these up. Do you think I should write this up? Should I take time on this in class? Do you need me to take time on that in class? Do you notice that these A properties are the exact A properties that we had in matrix in vector, uh, vector addition? So confirm them for yourself. Um, I learned again last week that algebra matters. There are many, many students that thought they got the right answers to that. If I was a real if I was really, really dedicated to your education, I would make you show every single operation. Many of you were assuming that you knew what you were doing. And some of you might have. But my claim is like that one problem on projections probably required 17 to 35 algebraic operations. I, I don't know that any single person in this class other than one actually went through all of those at some point in their education. It's crazy. That's called professional mathematics. That's a different level of mathematics where every single operation you're doing, you're identifying the name of the operation and why you can do it. Right? It's, it's, um, it's scary. That, you asked me a question about this, right? You're like, can we, can we just assume that the operations in R we can use? For novices, yeah. But you know what a professional mathematician says? No. Nope. You got every single operation you use, you've got to construct from first principles. And if you use it, you have to be able to do a bijection between the movement that you made and the corresponding operation that you used. And unless you know you're allowed to do it, you can't, do the, you can't actually do it, right? But in school, we, we do this thing where we hide all those details. It's not until you get into making money on that stuff that you say, like, oh, I should really care about that, right? <laughs>